It was a month ago to this day that a series of tornadoes ripped across the state, including the town of Winterset. We have Local 5's own Dave Downey there to see how the community is holding up. I'm here at the Volunteer Reception Center in Winterset one month after the EF4 tornado took six lives. The recovery continues, but Iowa Nice has prevailed. There was firemen from New Sharon, Iowa that were there, fire trucks from New Sharon. I don't even know where New Sharon is. An 85 mile trip, no problem for first responders on the evening of March 5th, but that's not all. I got calls from sheriffs all over the state offering to send help, and I, fortunately I could say we had plenty of help. Inside the reception center, a lost and found for residents' belongings. These items were mostly found along Carver Road, and they actually were just found on Saturday. We had a group of um, kids come through, and this is what they collected and found, and I actually just laid them out to dry. Rebecca Hornback, pastor at the Winterset Foursquare Church, already has plans for the long road of recovery. We formed a long-term recovery group called Madison County Resilience um, <clears throat> with Dio, myself, and area pastors. Our heart is how can we help be part of the healing as we go forward, uh, whether that be physically, emotionally, mentally, or spiritually. Help, not something in short supply in the past month in Madison County. The biggest thing I took away from it was it's way better to have more, too much help than not enough, and we had a lot of help. If you want to help, the game plan is changing next week. Instead of having individuals walk in, um, DEO is going to be working at organizing larger groups that could come in and help with um, some of this lost and found um, items. Rebuilding has already begun, as you can see behind me, and residents, they're ready for whatever's to come this summer, or hopefully lack thereof. In Winterset, Dave Downey, Local 5 News, we are Iowa. And when those deadly tornadoes hit, there was a six minute technical delay in communicating the warning. And now Congress is stepping in to figure out what went wrong. Iowa's leaders have sent a letter demanding answers from the National Weather Service. They want to know what caused the delay. This week in a bipartisan move, Iowa's four congressional leaders are working together to move the chat system, how the National Weather Service talks to all first responders to the clouds. So it's not disrupted by things that are happening on the ground. Uh, it will remove the questions around timeliness because uh, the cloud can't be disrupted by an interruption to a fiber or something like that or anything. So now we're down to uh, possibly just human error, which I still want to get through in the letter, but actually moving the chat, which is the most important piece of communication during these times to the cloud will create a level of security that is much higher than what we currently have. Congresswoman Cindy Axney says they plan to work with the counterparts in the Senate to make a similar proposal.